Okay, I'm gonna show you one last Christmas ornament thing we do, and they're called salt dough ornaments. Super easy, you have everything you need in your kitchen, and they're fun, and the kids can decorate them. Write the name on the back, grandparents adore them. First, you start out with two cups of flour. Drop, woo, drop that in the bowl, okay. Christian, can you add the salt for me? All right, this is three quarter cup salt. Can you dump it in there, bud? Woo, good job. All right, and Peyton, we have three quarter cups of water. Pour it slow. Good job. Okay, mommy's gonna stir first, and then I'll give you each a turn to stir, okay? We're gonna stir this up until it forms like a Play-Doh consistency thing. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Oh, is it starting to look like Play-Doh, guys? It is. How about you guys start to push your sleeves up and get ready? Because I'm about to give you a blob. Does that sound good? Yours are up. Good job, Christian. You're a good listener. Thank you, Pape. Okay, let Mommy put hers up. And we're going to dig in. After you start with the spoon for a few minutes, you probably will need to dig in with your hands to knead it really well. Okay. And then we're gonna give each child just a section of it. I want a big one. Oh, there's a big one. I know you need a big one. Ooh, Peyton, that's big. that's big. You think you can do it, Peyton? There you go. And then mommy will just take a little small one. How about that? Okay, Christian, what we're gonna do with it, bud, is take it and mush it flat. Can y'all do it like mommy? Everybody kind of mush it. Oh, you need a little extra pressure there, Peyton. You mush it out into a big flat pancake. And then we have all these things here. I want candy cane. You want a candy cane. Christian, what would you like? Um, this. What is that? That's a jingle bell. So we put the jingle bell on and mommy will make a Christmas tree. You just push your shapes in like so, super easy. Just like cutting out cookies here. So don't make them too thin. About a quarter inch thickness is perfect. And just like that, you take a straw to make the hole in the top, pop them on a cookie sheet, and you put them in the oven at about 300 degrees. Good job, buddy. You put them in the oven about 300 degrees for about two hours, and every 20 minutes flip them. That'll prevent the curling of the little ends. So through the magic of Cheap Moms TV, we have some already done. And so here they are, they're really cute, hard ornaments. So guys, we're gonna finish this meal. Let's scoot our dough back, and then the kids can just paint. And it's really cute, you just use, I use washable paint, it doesn't stain anything, wipes off counters, tables, clothes, whatever. So Peyton, which one would you like? Do you wanna do the circle ornament? Mm -hmm. Christian, can you pick an ornament to paint? I don't want this. I want Okay, a gingerbread, and Christian's got a bell. <laughs> what color gingerbread? Christian, how about you do a yellow bell? And then you just give them paint, let them go at it. Another fun thing to do is when the paint is still wet, put glitter on them. Um, that kind of makes it fun. And then just get yourself a can of spray acrylic. You get it in like the spray paint section and it's acrylic. Take them outside, spray those things down. They last forever. I have some right here. I write their names on the back for the grandparents. This is Mackenzie 2005. Still in perfect condition. She striped her candy cane. And then here's one that we did the glitter on. And this is a two year old one as well. And with their acrylic, it just sticks perfectly, doesn't wipe off, and you've got great heirloomy kind of ornaments forever.